Welcome back to the channel. On the weekend where Arsenal officially choked the title, Southampton officially got relegated, oh. and United got back to winning ways. Let's get into the action. Let's do it. Right, kicking things off then. We've got Arsenal, Brighton, 3 0 Brighton. Oh, I'm not shocked you're kicking off with this. Yeah, well, well it's got to be. Saying to last as well, to be no, 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 it's got to be. You've got to start it first, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I it. mean, after Brighton, after getting pulled apart at home by Everton, they've yeah. gone to the Emirates and outshined Arsenal. Yeah, fair play. What, and ruined their ars um, Arsenal, way. ruined their title chances. What a way to bounce back. Yeah. Yeah, fair play. Um, for the first half. I think it's a pretty even game for Arsenal, probably slightly the better team. Yeah, probably. I mean, Brighton definitely hit a different gear in the second yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, they just had that spell, didn't they? Yeah. Just took to another, another level. Uh, um, yeah, Arsenal was shell shot, mate. Yeah, Think couldn't keep up with them. Yeah, that uh, Enciso and uh, Matoma mm. pulling, uh, ruining Ben White's life. I think he's still having nightmares tonight about them. Yeah. Absolutely uh, ripped him apart. You mean uh, Estabinia? No, no, no. In CISO. Oh, I thought it meant Espinosa. You know, the young guy that... The, the, no, 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 I know what you mean. No, no, I know what you mean. Well, yeah, Estepinian had, had a great game actually. as well, to be fair. Put, got the assist yeah. for the first goal, took his goal well at the yeah, end. Estepinian was flying down, that's what I mean. I thought um, I thought he'd got Estepinian and Estoso, what his name is, mixed up. I mean, I don't I know... Mean, he played well as well. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I don't, did Estepinian you, was class. Did you know Trossard still won the wage bill at Brighton? After that cheeky <laughs> assist he got for him, <laughs> I'd, I'd speak as you all know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, lovely, mate. Yeah, Loved oh, it. No. Yeah, loved so. every moment. I bet you did, mate. Yeah, you, you I got mean, to, you got to take the small wins, didn't you, as a Spurs fan? Well, that's it, mate. Yeah. I mean, it's a big win. Yeah. I mean, some people will say like that. That's our. That's probably our highlight. Did you hear what Jamie Hara said today on the radio. Yeah, it did. It was like the best result for the best result Spurs have had all season. I mean, we've had a crap season. <laughs> I mean, but I'd look back in the past when we were oh, when we were at right. our top. Um, <laughs> I got very great. Well, you got the Champions League. Yeah, exactly. Um, there was definitely Arsenal fans looking at Spurs and be, and celebrating us not winning or or whatever. So yeah. it's the same. Goes both ways. Nah, you got to enjoy it, but it's still. But, I mean, pay. Arsenal choked when it really mattered. The inexperience shined through. Always been rehearsing this, haven't they? They just uh, <laughs> they just didn't do it, mate. Yeah, I think it just came too early from. We said it a few weeks ago, didn't we? I think they've yeah. got really young. Up and coming team, it probably came a bit too early. Yeah. But the bad thing for them is, it's probably their best chance to do it. Yeah, hundred percent. Everyone's coming next season. Well, we always say this. I mean, is that that one team? I think when we, when we were there, when Leicester, like, mm. th it was one of the best seasons mm. to do it. Yeah, City um, were not in transition, but they were in transition as in the way they played the centre forward. Well, you think, um, yeah, 10, 10, 12 games ago, everyone was shitting on City even being like oh they don't play that well with Haaland yeah, and that lot and yeah. then they hit their gear and they're, they're like oh row, City are so yeah. good City well, that's, so the thing. Good. that's the scary thing as well Haaland's got flipping how many I don't know, I don't know. 37 I, I think 36 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah imagine next season when he's a bit more settled and he's like let's go, yeah. go again like he's still so but you young think gonna Chelsea going to come back Liverpool going to have that season United against strengthen yeah. City against strengthen Spurs might eventually get a manager yeah. Uh, yeah, Newcastle coming. against Everyone's Brighton coming. are probably going to yeah. be there like Everyone's it's coming. just going to be they're yeah. not going to have this same I, I reckon if I think this uh, end of the season and the way it's all happened mm. I think it's going to hit some of them youngsters hard and they're going to not struggle next season but I, they're not going to be challenging I don't think I think they'll be up there. I'll call it now. They'll be, I, said, I think they'll be challenging top four but it, they're not challenging nah, for the league I'm telling it, you now. I said it didn't I I think if they get two top players like a Rice and someone else, I think they can like, can challenge again. But mm. they're not they're not going to win it. I don't think they challenge again. They're not going to win it. They don't challenge next season. I don't team. think. No. But we'll see. But yeah, um, they bottled it when it really mattered. Um, yeah. And then I, I saw a lot of the, the Arsenal players and managers upset at the end, and I thought, I fucking love it. <laughs> you've, you've really enjoyed. <laughs> Absolutely this loved yeah. it, mate. Yeah, <laughs> party, party getting Fair started. Play, yeah. So I, yeah, I feel, I feel sorry for them for a bit. I feel sorry for them, but um, we've, yeah, all been, them, well, we've, we've been there. I mean, the Spurs haven't been there, but... Well, I was there, mate. They've all been there a few times. We, uh, oh, we yeah, finished, you finished we third finished in a two-horse race. race. <laughs> but, I mean, Arsenal finished second in a one-horse race, so... <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. Ooh, he's clawed <laughs> out. <laughs> right, right, let's move on then. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into Everton City. City 3-0 winners. I thought, after a massive uh, win away to Brighton... Everton, well, I think some fans, mainly Arsenal fans, were sort of hoping that they could probably steal some points off City, but it just didn't happen. Mate, I really thought that... Uh, get in. I really thought that um, Everton were going to give them a game. 
I mean, to be fair, they didn't play that bad. And they were defending they really well. All right. Was it? I can't remember how, when the first goal was. Maybe thirty minutes or so, wasn't it? Something like that. I think so. But they they were defending really well, and I was like to think, you know what? Could they could they get something? Um, I think City's class has shined through. And then really, that didn't blooming it? goal by Gundogan, like the commentator said, it, how do you stop that? No, you like, it's just a ball in the box. You think like you can't head it's it. Class, mate. You can't volley it. No. You just think he's gonna have a touch and then you're on him. You can you can t- block it or take it off him, but he literally touches it off his thigh, doesn't he? Yeah, it's such a weird touch because he sort of and like straightens like his leg and he just his, like brings it out. Flicks his foot round the other way. It's flip. unbelievable. Back to goal, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was what a great a goal. goal. Like, oh, I was gonna say about Gunnigan. To be fair, was it? He got two goals and the assist. Um, yeah, unbelievable. I think he's been class. He's been yeah. What, four, I goals, think, four goals, two assists in two games. Yeah, like, yeah I right. think they really miss him when he leaves as well. That just yeah, he's been a great servant to the club. Yeah, there's just talk about he's leaving. Um, he's been a great player, mate. Yeah, I think three, he did, that was his 300th game as well. It just I think. shows their, it just shows their their squad. Like their squad used to be really big with class, but then they've trimmed it down recently. But they've still got so much. Everyone they've got is like Gundogan comes in, doesn't play every week, comes yeah. in, and he's he's playing. Yeah, like but that's the thing because Pep's so good at that man management. How he can just sort of have players like Gundogan and stuff like that can just happily sit on the bench and then come off and play when needed. Yeah, exactly. And he's happy um, to like, yeah, he's unbelievable player. He gets in any team in the league. Well, they, I think they dropped four players, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Nah, that's just, just the just players that come in would fit into ninety-five percent of other teams, if not all. Yeah, of every other team. Um, so. Crazy. I thought Foden looked sharp. Yeah, um, he was Harland looking pretty good. Goal again. Yeah, thirty-six. I think. I just want to talk about Harland. Cool. Um, so he's got, I think he's got 52 in all comps, something like that. Might be 54. I think he's around that, yeah. Something like that. When he's in his prime, because he's yeah. still only a bloody kid. Well, yeah, that hits his peak. How many goals do you think he's getting in all comps? I mean, it depends what league he's in, I think. Say he stays in, say in three years' time he's in the Premier League for City still. Mm. How many do you think he's getting? What did Messi and Ronaldo used to get in their prime? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's different leagues. What did they used to get? I think Me- Messi's record is like 72 a season, I think. I mm. think it's around that. Harlan's getting 60. Yeah, I think he, he's he can. Yeah, he can. I reckon, I reckon he's, you reckon he's I mean, eight. the scary thing is if he hits 30 goals plus every season. I reckon he's hitting 70 in all comps. Well, not this season. No, not now. I mean, in his pomp, I'm saying. Possibly. I mean... Could he get... Yeah, but then how... Because how, you might get a, an influx of class defenders come to the league and they just they change the game. Unless they're bloody super saints like Haaland. I can't see them stopping. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, we're, gonna, we're going to have a subject here, but I think it's That's part of the reason that. why Van Dijk has looked so good over the last couple of years because there's not been a great deal of defensive competition. Van Dijk's been shit for two years, mate. Um, that is an that absolute outrageous that. shout. So you're saying Van Dijk, when he was in his pomp, was just because there was no good strikers? No, uh, I'm not saying he, he was good, but I think when oh people are God, saying... Oh, my God, what a goal. Sorry. I think when people are saying... <laughs> <it> Van Dijk? <laughs> Jones double. Um, I think when people were saying he was like one of the best defenders in the world, I feel like it was slightly because of the lack of competition defensively in the Prem. That's just my take. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Mm. When he was there, but then you think someone like a John Terry, Rio Ferdinand, they've done it consistently for many, many years. Van Dyke. It depends on it. Was yeah. good at Celtic. Was pretty good at Southampton. I think. Was South- class think for two, three years. Class. class for two, three years at Liverpool, and now he's gone off the boil. Um, so can you say he's a world class defender when he's done it for like two years, three years? Um. I mean, we've completely gone off topic. No, we are, but I need to. I can't let you just can't let me shit on uh, Van Dyke like that. Van Dyke when he was in his pomp, when we were going for everything, was best I've ever seen. One of the best I've ever seen. I get the the longevity argument. I I get the argument you say he's not as better than Rio or Terry because they did it for longer. But if Mm. you're going on pure ability, he's up there, and I don't think anyone can argue with it. Hang on. So you think Van Dyke? If you were going to pick a record book, you think he's what top five best centre backs in the Premier League? Yeah. Really? Every day of the week. But it depends how you're doing it. Are you doing it on longevity or are you doing it on pure ability? Because like Suarez, on pure ability, Suarez is in is one of the best players the Premier League's ever seen. But he wasn't there long enough to be in the yeah, top you can't, yeah. for discussion. Do you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so it yeah. depends how what your rules, do you know what I mean? But pure ability, Van Dijk is one of the best defenders we've ever seen. Fact. I don't know. Clip it. You can clip it, mate. Clip it. I don't know. I, I, I think he may be top 10. How do we get on this off from Harlem? Because you were talking about Harlem. We were talking about... <laughs> I, I ha- how many goals he could score? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 digress and move on. Van Dyke shit. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, um, so what we're saying? I'm, I'm saying Harlan gets. I'm saying Harlan gets seventy. What you think his record? Like he he hit seventy. I think he hit seventy. Well, goals you, if, if you're gonna do it, you might as well just say he beats Messi's record. 
Because I'm pretty sure Messi's like 72. I, I, I swear Messi got like 80 or something. I reckon he's I'm same. sure it's like 72. Whether it's at City or Madrid, because it's obviously going to go Madrid next. You think so? I reckon Haaland does it. But yeah, let's get back to the game anyway. My boy Tarkovsky hit, hit, <laughs> hit the bar. Thought he was unlucky. That's a change of direction, isn't uh, it? Harland into Tarkovsky. Yeah, that's it, mate. My boy's half. Yeah. Um, tough. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out to my ex boy. Your ex boy? My ex boy, uh, Big Carl Walker, mate. Oh, Do you know what? He catches a lot of hate, and I don't think he gets nowhere near the credit he deserves. I know a few people I that stand the crap. That's what I mean. What are you talking about? I, I, I generally think he's one of the best right backs in the world, and I think his recovery is the best in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, bang, and bang. I wanted to give him a shout out. Bang it annoys on. me when people bang on. Reckon he's he crap. Is, he is. Does my head in. Good. He is very good. He's top tier, mate. But not half his games is pace. If you didn't have his pace, it'd be... It'd be yeah, but you can player. say that about a lot of players. Yeah, OK. Say about Alan Mbappe. He uses it well, yeah. Um, I think he's class, mate. Yeah. You've got to use it yourself. You think, though, any play, any person, he's, what, 32, 33? Mm. He's still as fast as he was when he was 18. Yeah. And not a lot of people can say that. A lot of people slow down and they change their game up. Walker's been consistently good mm. for a number of years now. We're just talking about Van Dyke and how, how inconsistent he was had like two, three seasons. Yeah, yeah. Carl Walker's been top tier for the last 10 years. Yeah. So I wanted to give him a shout out. He's my boy. You can give him a shout out. Uh, that just reminds me though, Van Dyke did have a really bad injury. My boy. So, oh, yeah, yeah, well, we all do. Um, but yeah. It's ACL, mate. Can't get worse than that. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind, mate. Um, um, but yeah, no, Carl Walker's is is top defender, but yeah, he's a pace merchant. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, well, City one hand on the Premier League title now. They got to go to. Oh, we're talking about. Well, we're we talking about games. Yeah, we're, we're talking about, about individual yeah, players. We've gone off topic, but um, one hand on the title. You're joking, it, yeah? Well, they got two hands yeah. and their their face as well. I was going to say something. <laughs> well, they like got that. Chelsea family, coming, didn't they? Show, so. Yeah, Chelsea uh, yeah. coming, yeah, so I mean, they, they beat could, them. And they could play the second team and the, the league stairs. I mean, if Arsenal lose as well, they just need to beat. Don't they beat Chelsea play net before City plays? Yeah, yeah. So if they lose, Fulham, I think. Yeah, well, I can't remember. If Arsenal lose, don't win then. They win anyway. Yeah. Um, I know it's not Fulham, is it? It's uh, Forest. Yes, it is Forest. Ooh, yeah. It's one of our games, actually. It's one of I our reckon dictions. they could win it before... They could win it, potentially. Well, I've got, well I don't want to give my scores away, but I've got them getting a draw, so... Uh, don't right. give me scores away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> right, let's move on, then. Right, let's get into Leeds, Newcastle, then. 2-2. Two, two. Big result for Leeds, oh, but they really needed the Leeds. win, to be fair. Oh, yeah, you had the draw, didn't you? You had the old draw on, didn't I? Yeah, and you also got uh, your wish of having Isaac and Wilson play together for the yeah, my boys started the only what, what second time of the season. What happens when they play? Great shout, mate. They don't win. Yeah, they draw. I mean, what was it? Yeah. First, why is Vardy not taking pens? Well, Absolutely. Come on, uh, come on, big shout from you. Under the bus here. <laughs> I want to just r- remind you of the scores on the old predictions, okay? Well, we'll see what happens later, mate. Oh, unless you, know, you get, unless you get three points. In, well, uh, we'll one see, we'll the, see. On the head. But, but uh, um, yeah, Leeds, um, I mean, they got to a good start. Good character. Got the penalty. Yeah. Um, oh, what the flip, man. Shocking penalty, though. Bamford is shite. Your boy Bamford, isn't he? Mate. Oh, but you, you were you were hyping about it. We him. should do a video of uh, top top five worst Premier League starting players. <laughs> he's in my top five. <laughs> really? He's shite. Yeah, he I don't, is not Premier League. I don't player. think. Yeah, he's not a Premier League. He level. scores you fifteen twenty in the Championship, but he's not a Premier League player. Well, to be so. fair, well Leeds scored, didn't they? I think Pope should have done better. Mm. Um, he should have pushed out for a corner, I think. Mm. But he's put it straight back yeah. into the mixer, and they've tucked it away. Um, then they won the pen, so they could have gone two 0 up. Bamford's missed it. I mean, Pope made up for that little error. Yeah. But then they've gone straight out of the other end, won a penalty. And then Wilson's, Wilson's tucked it away. Mental. Bamford, take notes. Mental. And then he's tucked away another one, to be fair. But two good pens under you know, pressure. I was I was prepping for this this episode at the weekend. Yeah. And I was looking at the games and stuff and stats and stuff. And I was going to say, oh, Wilson scored two pens. He's scoring pens again. And I was thinking, mm. he's, he's, I was going to say, just as a joke, obviously, because he's top player. I was going to say, oh, he's a pen merchant. Because mm. he scored a lot. You think he scored a lot of pens this season, didn't you? I think so. I don't know about a Do lot. How many scored? How many? Three. Oh, well, there you go. So literally in the last couple of games. <laughs> so your brain's just <laughs> whack, just like mate. Biased. <laughs> yeah. well, I just think, I honestly would have thought he scored five or six. Nah. But yeah, nah, top player. I mean, he's, I think he's top goal scorer since like March or something. Yeah, he's like got 10 eight, goals eight, or something. He's like fourth in the top goal scores now. He's yeah, only played like, half, he's played 1,800 oh, yeah. minutes. Yeah, true. He's played no minutes compared to another. Yeah, it shows how good a season he's had. What was, what uh, just quickly, what was uh, that Leeds fan doing? Getting in Eddie Howe's face. Mate. What's he know. saying? Oh, you, sh- you should let us win. Yeah, we need the I points. Mean, do you know what I mean? You should be going up to your leads, your, yeah. your, your players, mate, because they're the one that have let you down all season. Weird. It, it, they're saying they get a lifetime ban, aren't they? Yeah, should probably, do, but I just do, don't know. Yeah. What's he trying to achieve going up to Eddie Howe? Yeah, weird. It's mental, mate. People just 
Wally's, isn't they? Oh, yeah. Probably have been mm, another drink. You should let us win. Yeah. Madness, mate. One. But, uh, I mean, Leeds definitely look better. Um, yeah. But whether they've got enough to get them over the line, I don't think so, mate. Yeah, I mean, only a fool would keep them up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they definitely look like they're... Bit stronger in defence. Um, yeah, still, they definitely look a bit more sure. Still got, they still got a bit going forward as well. I thought, to be fair to them, going two one down, they could have they could have collapsed and they showed a bit of a, you know a bit of fighting to yeah. get to get a point. It could be a massive point. No, they definitely look better. Um, I mean, Newcastle leaving the door for top four open as well oh, for Liverpool mate, a little bit. Well, we're watching us now. We're tuning up at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. So uh, we're say doing we. our bit. You, yeah, <laughs> I know, doing our fun. bit. So I mean, yeah, we're going to United in a minute, but. Um, yeah, I think they're going to get it. So if if Newcastle slip up, well, but I don't think they will. I don't think they will, but they're, they're not do doing themselves any favours. No, yeah. Right, let's get into United Wolves then. 2 0 United. United bouncing back from uh, two defeats on the trot with a dominant performance to uh, a lacklustre Wolves. Yeah, fair play. I mean, they could have two two defeats on the bounce, like you say, they could have crumbled, but um, they got back to winning ways, and they've probably done enough now for top four, haven't they? So. Yeah, I mean, Wolves were on the beach; they didn't have a single shot on target. No, so, exactly. Yeah, they're definitely yeah, on the weren't beach. weren't great on their yeah. their side of things, but uh, I thought it was brave. They um, they gave a debut to their that young keeper Bentley mm. away at Old Trafford. I thought that was brave, but he pulled off some uh, big saves. To be fair, yeah, it was was Sar injured or what? No, he was on the bench. Oh, so I, was, I wonder why well, they dropped him. You know, they're trying things out. They know they're safe. They're yeah. Things out. <laughs> um, yeah. No, fair play. Um, he made some good saves, but um, yeah, you know, were comfortable, weren't they? Yeah. Um, I thought Anthony had some uh, decent link up play, uh, but he just can't score at the minute. And I know I had a little pop at Nunes last week. Well, but... you did. Well, I mean, it's because of the price tags, really. Like, you, you scrutinise these players more. Like, if they if they cost twenty five million each, they don't get catch nowhere near the same yeah, sort of criticism. Yeah, it's natural, yeah. But they didn't. They cost hundred mil, ninety three odd mil, or whatever. So they, you got to hold them to a higher standard. Yeah. Well, I think um, I think the thing with Anthony is, I think there's a good player in there. Hundred um, percent. I just don't think he's got. He doesn't see the final ball at the moment. Or he doesn't, there's no final ball. Is that final pass? There was yeah. One, yeah, there was one where I think he, he was in on the box on the right hand side. And he could have laid it back to Ericsson or square it for someone. I can't remember who it was. And he just didn't see it. And he just shot. A few situations he just like shot that. on his right foot. I don't know and if it's a, like I'd be so frustrated playing in a team with him because like. Two well, yeah, when there's glaring just, opportunities, it was just, to it was just you know through. just one of them ones where like you shouldn't be shooting it. You've got to be laying it off. And he's just, I don't know whether he's, because he's not playing, well, I think getting it's, the goals assist, he's desperate to do it, so he's being a bit greedy, or I don't know if that's, that's well, who yeah. he is, I don't I know. It's say, it's I think one. it's one, you've got lack of experience, and two, if it's that striker's mentality, is like, it's always just goal, goal, goal. If you've got a different sort of player who looks for the pass, mm. and that's, that's their game. Um, where he's obviously goal driven, yeah. and he can score. He, he hit the ground running realistically yeah, when he first come in. He just, I don't know. He just, he's just gone off the boil a bit. But again, if you're not scoring goals, you got to be assisting. Mm. And there's plenty of opportunities. Yes, yeah. well, in the Wolves game where he probably could have got three assists. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think he will come good. But let's hope he carries on not coming good. Yeah, well. Have I told you about my nickname for him? No. You know, just like that little spinny thing, that weird thing. Yeah. So I called him. Do you remember Beyblades? Yeah, yeah, I call him the Beyblade. <laughs> what a cracking story! <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. Right. <laughs> I mean, uh, United look good. Wolves on the beach, like I said. Um, right, let's get on to Chelsea Forest then. Two two, massive point for Forest. Big point for Forest. Could it be enough to keep them up? Oh, I think they're staying up now. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, we was both, it? We both said they were supposed to go down. I mean, a few we were talking ago. about they, they were they were definitely in the mixer to yeah. have the potential. They've just they've just started picking up results at the right time. Well, like a one e is it a one e scored one, uh, yeah, four goals in two games yeah. now. Yeah. We, we we had him and loaned him out for twelve years. Oh, really? Yeah, he's played for us. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. He couldn't get a work plant for years. Um, but yeah, he's he's doing well. Scored a few goals recently, isn't yeah. he? And um, they just seem to. Because their home form was okay at the start of the season, then they were shocking for a while. But their away form has been awful all season. But they've just started they're to pick up goals. But they but score. They've, they got three against yeah. you. But they're two at Chelsea. Yeah, they score goals. Like, they yeah. can see them as well. But they've just started picking up the odd point away from home, hmm. just at the right time. So they give themselves a right chance. I was looking at the table earlier, and they're on 30, I think they're going to do well, 35, especially right? now. Let's lose in. Yeah. Uh, so are they? yeah, they're on thirty-five. Okay. So the ball's in their court. They probably need a win. Yeah, I thought... Um, well, that, might even be a draw. I thought Sterling played well as well. I mean, Chelsea have been desperate for goals recently and he stepped yeah, up. Yeah, no, much better. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he did pop up with a couple of goals, didn't he? Um, yeah. So, fair play. Um, I mean, Chelsea are looking a little bit better each week. Uh, and, I mean, under Poch, they could be a real threat next season, to be fair, especially if they get a couple yeah, of decent it's, signings. It's, worrying, it's a little bit worrying. It's always worrying because they've got all the money they want. But um, you just have to hope that they've got too much money. 
to make good decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you do. I know. Because let, let's be honest, he's got to trim the fat. He's got to come yeah, in yeah. and trim the squad down. He's, he's got to have like thirty man squad, yeah. including all the loanies and stuff yeah, as well around the worrying. fringes. So he's worrying that they've. But I feel like Poch goes in. He takes. He grabs it by the balls, and he's going to get rid of a few of the dead dead wood. Mm. Um, and if he gets in a couple of good players and gets them playing, oh, I'm a little bit worried about it. But yeah, you might we'll be, see. Yeah, he might have to heartbroken already. He's not even. He's not even started. Yeah, God, man, um, goes there as well, mate. But yeah, can Forest stay up? I think they're. Uh, I think they might. I think they got a good chance. Right, let's get on to Villa Spurs then. Two one Villa. I mean, fair play Villa. They outclassed us. I mean, we didn't really even turn up in the first half. There's no point in even being there. Not a yeah, single shot um, or anything. Yeah, I mean, they've gone off the boil recently, haven't they? And, yeah. Um, yeah. I thought they were getting their sandals on, not quite on the beach, but I thought mm. they were packing their bags, yeah. giving up on Europe and packing their bags. But yeah, fair play. Didn't expect it at all and, uh, to get the win against the Spurs, who have been rejuvenated recently. Oh, really we had one, one game. Is it one game you won? Yeah. I thought we won two. No, oh, yeah, it's so. still shocking. Uh, um, I mean, I'm coming. I'm becoming slowly more and more numb to the situation at the oh. minute of how crap of a season we are. Actually, I'll take, change that because in the grand scheme of things, I'm still like knocking about. Southampton has been relegated. So it's just been a boring, lacklustre season and we really need some big changes next year. Yeah. I'm not, not happy with the situation. No. And we're in that same boat at the minute now where we can't, can't get a manager. Yeah, it's, it's been like what seventy days since worrying. Conte's gone. What's, what's the plan? It's just, it stinks of the same situation before when we got rid of Mourinho and then we waited so long and we got bloody Nuno Espirito Santo in. Mm. We're You're just missing out on the, the the list of managers are getting the calibers getting lower and lower and lower and I'm like oh here we go again. We're much? in real trouble, mate. We're in real trouble at the minute. But um, think they might. Do you think they're waiting for the summer though? Because be- they think they've got a better chance of getting who better managers. Le- manager? We've let. Nah, I don't. I don't you I don't say think, why we I don't, go there, but I don't. Well, I don't think Levy likes Deserby. To be fair, uh, I was just talking about Thomas Frank. Thomas Frank, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Brendan, we'll probably end up like Brendan Rodgers or something. I mean, it, it's, just a, it's just just an average. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Sam Allardyce. Uh, nah. Um, <laughs> but I mean, not happy, are you, mate? one one positive was uh, Basima being back. He actually looked pretty decent. I thought when him and uh, Kulusevski come on in the second half, we actually looked much better. Um, yeah. but take nothing away from Villa they, they were more hungry they wanted it more and to be fair the scoreline flattered us really and the crazy thing is we couldn't bloody equalise in the end if Sonny just holds his run yeah what about um, I just want to touch on Harry Kane oh, you like you touch on Harry Kane every week mate what uh, do you want to touch on him well, potentially leaving the penalty what about it what do you think about it like it's thoughts. a penalty mate right he gets to the ball first keeper takes him out penalty isn't the keeper already on the floor though? He's already down. Kane if you clear the man, in, can, Kane runs into the keeper. Mate, every everyone does it. I'm not sure everyone does it, mate. Harry Kane does it a lot. Yeah, because he knows how to win a penalty. Oh, mate, well. everyone does it. You're just a, a proper one, waffler. Oh, am I now? I'm gonna Photoshop a waffle on your face. Ooh, <laughs> it's a big bite. That we'll see what the comments say. Yeah, I mean, I think he went looking for it and he's he literally. It. Ran like I said, every What's the every goal good he's striker the goal is already committed. He's already down. That's the whole What's point. If you get a touch to it first, they've committed. They give away the foul. It's a penalty. <sighs> Simple. I'm not saying it's not a penalty. That's what I'm saying. What, what, what are you saying? Bit, what are you saying? I'm just saying it's a bit. A bit what? It's a bit unhonest. Fuck, it's for sport, mate. It's a bit... Every sport is a bit unhonest. I just don't know what the keeper's supposed to do. He's already down. Kane's literally ran into him. Get there first. Kane's ran into him. He's supposed to get there first. Yeah, That's what Kane's he's supposed to do. Into him. Mm, no, he's not. He's, no. he's touched the ball to the side. If he doesn't clear him out, Kane's got a chance of running up. But he's, he's not. He doesn't want that. Kane wants to get there first, get taken out by the keeper and get a penalty. It's exactly what he done and he achieved his goal. I'll tell you that. I think I've hit a nerve. Should we move on? Yeah, let's <laughs> move on. Uh, I mean, just quickly though, Louise's free kick was banging. Uh, and Villa definitely deserved it. Yeah, so, even actually, Louise, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. Right, let's get on to Southampton Fulham then. 2 0 Fulham. Southampton officially relegated. It's been a long time coming, really, isn't it? It has, yeah. We relegated them about two months ago, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're just clinging in there, picking up the odd point against yeah. the Arsenal. I, I think they took that massive risk in buying basically what was Man City's Youth Academy. And it just hasn't yeah. paid off. Do you know? But the thing is, do you know what's really mad? They've got some top players, some young top players. Yeah, but the problem is, and I think I heard Gary Neville saying it about like the class of '92. 
He was like, the Class 92 didn't win the league. It was your your Cantonars, your Roy Keynes, your Shemichaels and everything. Yes, they, so you who? Peter Shemichael. Shemichaels? Sh- Sh- yeah, Shemichael, yeah. yeah. He said Shemichael. Same thing, mate. No. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes, mate. Uh, <laughs> Michael, Schmeichel. Schmeichel. <laughs> yeah. um, but you can't win a league, or you can't stay in a league. Well, it's, it's different, but you can't have a full like team no. of youngsters. Yeah. What they did is they took the risk of going all out young, youngster, coming players, and they needed a bit of experience. Bar Warprouse. Yeah, but who else? No, that's what I'm saying. Bar Warprouse, they haven't really got much in there. They haven't really got a goal scorer. Bentnerek, maybe. Yeah, but they, I mean, they got. I think you know how much I rate Latvia, um, and that Bella Kunchop or whatever his name is. Yeah, I mean they've got the sprinkles good of player. class there. Sanchez looks good. They've got some good young players. But you can't I, bring I think, in 10, 12 youngsters. No, expecting no, no. no. To keep and I think the these, I think these these players, these young players, will go to top clubs and show how good they are. But like you say, there's no experience around them. Well, do you know they what? Too, I, they just went too far their way. There was no balance. I saw a list of their summer signings and January signings. Not a, one single Premier League appearance between the lot of them. Well, yeah, there you go. And there you go. It goes, it goes to show. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I think they just went it. too much away. The they just didn't balance it out, did they? Um, but yeah, there'll be there'll be a summer sale there. Um, there'll be. A I think they'll cherry pick around. a few, but I think I think City have got buyback options for most of them. No, I think Latvia it doesn't come into play until next summer. Not either way, they'll have the but he's going in the summer. He won't stay in the championship. No chance. Yeah, no, 100%. he's um, off to Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, I mean Fulham had that early shout for the penalty. Uh, yeah. Could have been du- uh, given, and then um, what was it? I think. They went the other end, and that same defender got a lovely little goal line clearance. I was yeah. like, oh, that's a bit, a bit unjust, but it's like he would have got sent off or anything. But, but uh, fair, but I just want to give Fulham a shout. What season? Where yeah, great season. Where they can now? be they're extremely seven? proud. The seventh? Um, no, I don't think the seventh. I think they're eighth or ninth. Eighth? Mm-hmm. Um, no, ninth, I think. Um, Are they ninth? I don't know. But I mean, an unbelievable season. Yeah, great season. Great season Hopefully, friend. they can build on it next year as well. I thought. Um, Mitrovic being back as well. Oh, bloody hell, the 10th. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Big shout. Oh, except Brentford. Um, Mitrovic being back, uh, scoring. I think yeah. they've really missed him. Obviously, he just finished serving that eight-match ban. Yeah. Um, How quick did that go, by yeah, the way? Yeah, proper. But, I mean, Flew by. I think Vinicius stepped up yeah, recently. He's, well. he's scoring goals. Um, yeah, he's, I think, did he score the other one as well, didn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. yeah. Um, A little tapping, but, yeah, Mitrovic, big miss. But, yeah, good to have him back. Uh, and I was just, yeah, I was just going to echo the fact, yeah, Fulham, great season. Hopefully they can build on it next year. Uh, and obviously with Southampton, hopefully they can um, bounce back. Yeah. Get that bounce back ability. I think they will be one of the favourites in the Championship. Um, but then that's the thing. If they, they can blood them. a few of them youngsters next yeah. year, get that experience, and then get back in the Prem, mm. sprinkle a I, bit of experience in there. The problem is they lose Ward Prowse. I'd, I'd, I'd give them more of a chance than an Everton or a Leeds if they go down in the Championship. I think they've got younger, hungrier players that can... I don't know, Leeds have done it though. Depends who they keep, yeah. Leeds have done it. Most of them players were in the championship. Um, yeah, a long time ago. Eh? Yeah, but I think you, you think if Southampton lose Ward Prowse, Lavia, and that Alvarez, I reckon he goes as well. Um, I've got a funny feel. I've got a sneaky suspicion Ward Prowse stays. Nah. Where's he go? He goes to a Premier League team. Yeah, but who's he go to? Any team below. Eighth, he's a Southampton man, isn't he? Been yeah, 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 yeah. Right, he's been over his career. Yeah, but right, I think hear me he's out. got ambitions to play for England. Out. He doesn't want to fucking been go to the champs. He's been there all his career. Yeah, if a Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, City, United, they come knocking, you go. Mm. They're not going to come. You, you don't you know get, that, mate. If Liverpool sign him, I'll be fuming. <laughs> um, it's probably the one we bloody get. Yeah, uh, him and Tillemans. Tillemans are free, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. We we'll spend fifteen Mad. middle together. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think he goes to a top team. Uh, maybe like a Brighton, I can see. I maybe. see. Or a Brentford. Uh, a Villa. A, or a Villa. A Brentford. A Villa. Well, yeah, mm. Brighton. Brighton, who? So probably the next... just, have they just signed Milner? Yeah, Did I dream yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. What the hell are they doing? It's just for experience, mate. He's a good runner. Run, yeah. Run, run, run. And but Southampton so, need him. So, so say Brighton, yeah. Say Brighton, Brentford, Villa are probably your next ones. Palace. Right? Palace. Say those, say for whatever reason they don't go for him. So, so that leaves, say, yeah. how many is that? So that's, what's that nine, nine we've said? Let's I be honest. I don't think he goes to a lower Premier League team. Is he's a boyhood, war pre- is he one club man? Has he been there all square, am I right? I don't know. I think so, yeah. Oh, I, I think reckon he there's has. a chance he stays. I mean, there's a chance. I mean, he gives it a year. But no, I don't, I don't think he does. Because I think 
I reckon they'd be right up there. I'd be shocked. If they I don't mean they can afford to keep him. I'd be shocked if they're not top six. Yeah, you might be right. He's probably on big no, wage, isn't he? Forty, we'll well, on big 40 wage, grand. and they could probably get forty mil for him. So it's probably about. You can't, you can't turn that down realistically, can you? So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I think if if one of the big players is going to stay, it will be him though. Just cause yeah, possibly. Like you said, if it's the lawyer, he's there. Yeah, but let's move on anyway. Let's get into Brentford West Ham two 0 Brentford West Ham had a much changed side. Probably yes. one eye on the Conference League I game. The, I reckon. I saw the lineup. They were resting all the all the big guns, and uh, yeah, I fancied Brentford for the win here. Yeah, I mean Brentford yeah. looked good, and uh, without top goal scorer Ivan Tony yeah, as well. Where is Ivan? Is he finally locked up? I think he's injured. Oh yeah, is that what they're yeah, saying? I think he had a little knock. Nah, because nah, he was there. He was at the game. He was uh, in was the crowd. Yeah. Um, I think the scoreline. See rumours that the the band's coming though, so it might be something. Yeah, it'll probably be right at the end of the season, won't it? Yeah, I mean, we'll that's see. probably the ideal time because then you get a bit of that time for the for the, summer, the, yeah. the summer break. Um, scoreline flattered West Ham a little bit. Could have been a lot more, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, oh, well, Good I was going to... About that, Damsgaard, a little little dig at Damsgaard. I um, think he's been a massive flop. And where I think it'd be an arse. Check out the, the flops of the season. Um, but, yeah, he had a high ceiling, didn't he? Obviously, they brought him in to sort of look to replace Ericsson. Uh, and he's not really lived up to it. I think 25 games this season, not a single goal or assist. Yeah, flop. but football's not played on paper, mate. Um, well, he's not that, that good. No, I mean, I, so. think bit, I think he needs to give him a little bit of time, really. I think he can. Yeah, well, yeah, he's only 22, I but... I don't look at him and think he's a bad player. I don't think he's they that good. They knock the ball around, he's part of that. I wouldn't, yes, he hasn't got the stats to back it up, but not all players do, mate. Um, I don't know. I think you're being a little harsh with that one, but only time will tell. You could yeah, be right. Maybe. maybe right. But yeah, good win for Brentford. Right. Let's get into Palace, Bournemouth then. 2 0 Palace. Another good win for Palace. Yeah. Bournemouth never really turned up. Not a single shot on target. No, yeah. They're, they're, I, mean, I feel like we're saying this by most teams, but they're on the beach. They're on the beach. Um, <laughs> they're safe, they're on the beach. Um, but yeah, Palace, impressive. Um, they're anything but, but on the beach. Uh, getting some yeah, still hungry. Still what, hungry did, uh, uh, what did you think of that Anderson absolute smush in the yeah, face? Yeah, it's naughty, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of them. I don't know. Did they, did they check it? Yeah, they they had it. I reckon. I think it was. They said uh, it was too close or something. But it's right. absolute clenched fist. He has punched in the, the face. Slow-mo? He's, he's crushed his nose. I think he's broke his nose. The only thing that I think might have gone have saved him is that there, it, it wasn't a full on swing, was it? It was more as a like kind of a. I think there's still enough in it. Oh so. no, I mean it's a red card. But I'm just trying to think, think of justification why they haven't done it. But yeah, I think it's because there's not enough yeah, space in again. between. Like yeah. you said, it's not a swing. He's not yeah. full on swung for him. But still, he's crushed yeah, his nose. Like I said, he's broke his nose. He's hit him hard enough. Yeah. Yeah, uh, shocking. Um, yeah, naughty one. But um, Eze. Big Eze. What a, what, a, what a boy. Absolute. Sc- popping up with goals. Yeah. Old squad midfielder. Second one, Peach, wasn't it? Oh, he's been class since Roy's come Brilliant, in. Brilliant, mate. The way he just dribbles yeah, that inside second goal is tasty, right mate. Foot, smash it top bins. Great ball over from, uh, really what's his player. name? Now, that's the midfielder I want. Uh, Elise. Yeah, he's class. Smash that ball over. Really nice really, class, really class him, switch of play. And See? then... Um, yeah, as it does the rest, mate. That's see PSG a link, uh, a link apparently after as at Elise. Really? You see it, yeah. Interesting. It. I think he's a top young player. He's only 21. But yeah, as, yeah. as well. Yeah, brilliant goal. Um, I thought Zaha looked up for it as well. Yeah, he yeah. Was, he was hungry for it. I think they took him off quite early, to be yeah, fair. I think but, the good um, thing about Palace now is they don't rely on Zaha anymore. They've got other quality nah, players. Nah, 100%. Yeah. I reckon if he goes, like you said, but yeah, we would say other quality players being Eze and Elise. Yeah, exactly. Um, like we said before, if they get a top striker, yeah, um, they could really do bits. I mean, is Palace it? looks solid. Uh, like we said, Bournemouth just on the beach. Mm. Keep on rolling. Yeah, Palace must be up for to like. Ten, well, they're not tenth because you've just established Fulham and there. I think they're eleventh. They're up for like, well, yeah, they must be because uh, be Chelsea high. haven't won, have they? They're twelfth. Oh, there you Level go. Chelsea. Oh, there you go. Very good. Um, right, let's get on to our final game. Then it's currently on now. Leicester Liverpool. It's just got into the second half. Wait. Liverpool two 0 Curtis Jones. Dominant, mate. Yeah, Curtis Turn Jones. Yeah. Yeah. He's been getting a lot of hate recently, and he's, uh, he's looked. I think he's, he's looked decent. Always, he's he's scored against us as well, didn't he? He's always had a lot of stick from some Liverpool fans, but I don't know what they expect. He's, he's, he's only, young. He's still only twenty-two. He's yeah, been around nice. a long time. He's twenty-two. He's suffered Has a lot. He really been, I didn't yeah. realise. He's twenty-two. He's suffered a lot of injuries, um, okay. and I've always thought when he does play, he carries the ball well. He always wants the ball. Yeah, he's not perfect. He might give the ball away sometimes. I but think he looks decent. He. I, I, at least he's someone in our midfield that can travel with the ball and has got legs which we haven't mm. 
not. Uh, but yeah, since Sar has been on this run, what, was it if we win this, it'd be seven in a row. He's been instrumental to it. I think he must have started. I think he's got about four or five yeah, then. Um, um, started a lot, but yeah, he's been. He's, he's definitely a decent squad player, either way. Eh? Yeah, I'm just hoping if we in the summer if we we get a couple of midfielders and then keep him as a squad player, like you say, in and out. I think yeah, yeah. he's decent. But yeah, so well, yeah, I, I can't I can't see uh, Leicester coming back from this. Uh, no, well, I think we're going. You never know. We decided to get one, but uh, we looked. Against score. Yeah. Oh, and he's got nearly three. Oh, is that Salah? Uh, yeah, anyway, so, right, so um, let's get on to our... Oh, hang on, we're not talking about Leicester. Okay. They're in deep, deep trouble. Yeah. yeah. I think we got that one wrong. We both kept them up, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I think they're going um, down. Yeah, Leicester. I don't think... I FA think, Cup uh, final. Well, to be two fair... Two years ago, wasn't it? Two years ago, they two won years ago, Cup, yeah. now they're going down. Yeah, Crazy. I think we did say it when we were doing our relegation prediction that we were banking on Leicester to get them eight points. I know it's easier said than done, but yeah. they didn't really get the points Knights where they needed. start for Jones. There you go. There you go. Cool. Um, yeah, Leicester didn't get the points where needed. Forrest have surprised a lot of people with some of the results they've pulled out the bag. Um, yeah. And they've wanted it more. Yeah, Leicester definitely. haven't really turned up. I mean, I think one or two of their performances, I thought, yeah, okay, they're up for it. But Forrest have been scrapping away. I, um, um, I don't know who Leicester... Leeds left it too late. Yeah, I can't think who Leicester have got left. But they, I think they're on 30 points, so they need to win both just to have a chance. Yeah. So they need to crunch time. I mean, Forrest getting another point is, is sort of not looking good. sealed. But yeah, yeah, imagine that. Southampton, Leeds and Leicester going down. That's yeah, going to be crazy. Big, clubs. Big, clubs. big teams. Sure. Um, and we know the championship is a tough Allison. decision to get a tough uh, league to get back out What a save. What a beard, Alison, eh? Absolute beast of a beard. Mm. Jealous. Right. Um... Let's get on to our three of the week then. Really? You're gonna kick things off, big dog. Yeah, I'll kick things off. What you got? Get your phone out. Um, Am I the, gonna? Oh, no. you, oh my goodness well, gracious! It. It's all up here. He's remembered. Um, it's the Brighton defender, the left back. I'd like you to pronounce it for me. Uh, Esten Pina. Esten Pina. I'm getting yeah. there. Good try. He's also Can one of mine. Five out of ten. Yeah. All yeah. right. Do a little double up on this then. Big game. Um, yeah. I mean, what was impressive about him is Brighton were freeing up. It got his goal. We've got his assist. Brilliant. Yeah. And he's still charging forward like a madman, mm. pushing forward, uh, driving forward in like the 89th minute, I think it was. Yeah, he dealt with Saka. Oh, he scored in the 90th, wasn't it? 90 plus. Yeah. Well, um, I think, um, did you give him a little honourable mention in your signings of the season? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so. a big shout, that. Yeah, yeah big shout. No, he was, he, he, was, he was electric on Saturday. But um, we were, t- well, well, our other video that's going to be out in a couple of days after you've seen this, depending on where you're watching it. Um, Brighton sold Cucurella. Yeah, replaced Absolute him flop, and then uh, Estepina has come in. Yeah, absolutely beasted it. Whoever's, whoever's running that club is doing it right. Doing so bits. Fair play, yeah, quality. So yeah. But yeah, and he dealt with Saka well as well. So I thought he had a yeah. big one. So he was one of mine. Is he one of yours? He's definitely one of mine. He yeah. was my third choice, but I'll, oh. I'll give you my first, and it's Big Eza. Eze. Yeah, Eze. One of we mine literally well. just spoke about him. One of mine. Oh, there you go, Glass mate. Great minds think Glass alike. Bar, yeah. Two great goals. Um, He's just been top got, top dog since. Got ten goals, three assists this season. Yeah, right? I mean, a, a lot of that's come since Roy's been in as yeah, well. Yeah, and um, I think yeah. eight of them, eight of his goals have been since Roy coming or something like that. I don't see any rumours of him moving away to a bigger club. And I think hey, he waited for the summer, mate. Yeah, but you, there's the, rumours about everyone, isn't there? You look yeah, at is like rumours everywhere. Well, we just said it about Zaha. They're not so reliant on Zaha. If Zaha is keen to leave, mm. they then put all that money and base the team around Eze which I yeah, think yeah, I think it's a wise decision if, if Zaha's keen to leave and they build a team around um, Eze and oh, I always forget his name Elise, Elise yeah. um, no class but what I'm saying is I'm surprised a few big teams aren't in the hunt for him maybe they are well, we'll see yeah we'll see but, mate yeah he's yeah, top 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 quality player yeah. so yeah Eze really well go on then who's your third my third no, I am don't tell me it's, it's, oh, here we go I my phone I'm not that good well, I'll give you my third then go on then big Gundogan Oh, yeah, that's Gunder one. one. <laughs> <laughs> big Gunders. Uh, big Gunders, goal. two goals. What a goal that is. Well, both goals are that good. That goal's up there with goals. Um, just for pure... Think? Oh, yeah, mate, pure... Anyone who's played football... I don't know. I'm still old school. Of like, yeah, I like, like an absolute 35-yard rocket. Yard yeah, yeah. rocket. No, I get that. <laughs> but I'm not saying goal is going to be up there. I'll tell you yeah, what, it's any, definitely up anyone there. Anyone who's played football at any level... Oh, yeah, it's class. ...understands how difficult yeah, that class. is to do. Ball's coming in, you've touched it on your foot. Well, like, how did he even think about doing that with his thigh? That, like, I don't how know. Did he, like, that doesn't go through anyone's head. Yeah, I know. And then just, like, literally... Flop like it's mad, like yeah. flicking it the I mean, wrong his free way. Kick, he made his free kick look absolutely. Yeah. Cool. I mean, Pickford's nowhere he's near it as well, weren't he? He's a class because he looks so. It just looks so nonchalant about it. He just sort of just little casually steps up, flicks it straight over. Why, did, like, oh, why didn't so Klopp good, bring man. him to Liverpool? He was at Dortmund with him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, human, mate. Imagine. Yeah. 
unbelievable player. But yeah, Gunnigan, class. Yeah, quality player. Like I said earlier, I think they're really missing when he leaves. But I say that, they're replacing him with another class player. Well, if this is thing with City, they just leave uh, De Bruyne on the bench and then they've got Gundogan who's just like steps yeah, up. Yeah, steps like, up and does the same job, if not better. They rarely play well together, but whoever plays, they ball out. Yeah, so. it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, no, big shout. Yeah, Absolute it's class. So we've got three, well, three for three. three. <laughs> First time ever, I think. <laughs> right, let's get into our... Four, four predictions of the week. Let's go over last week's ones then. So, first of all, we had Villa Spurs. I went 2-1 Spurs. You went 2-1 Spurs. <sighs> Both that. wrong. Shocking. Wrong way around. Didn't see that one come in. Uh, then we had Leeds, Newcastle. I went 3-0 Newcastle. Ooh. You went 1-1. One, one. So, you got the correct shout. result. Big shout from you. Um, then we got Everton uh, City. I went 3-0 City. Bang on the money. Uh, you went 2-2. Two, two. Crazy shout from you. Just trying to be clever, weren't I? Yeah, you been... I really thought they'd give them a game. <laughs> well, they did, but... For 20 minutes. They were never, they were never <laughs> going to draw. Um, no, so, yeah, no, exactly I got that. Right, and then um, Arsenal-Brighton, we both... Well, I went 2-1 Arsenal. You went 3-2 Arsenal. Couldn't be more wrong. Um, so, what's that? So, so, I won this week. How First you... win on the board. How did you win this week? Because I got the correct result, mate. 3-0. Oh, you mean the correct score? Yeah, and result, yeah. Well, you can't get a result without a score, mate. A score without a result. Well, you know what I mean, mate. I won. Oh, so you win this one? Yeah. Is that how we're doing it? Yeah. Are you sure? What do you mean, sure? If you got one result, I got a result and a correct score, I win. Okay. Because next season, it's going to be three points for a correct result and right, correct score. That's how we've been doing it consistently. Yeah. Well, it is. Remember. This is the first time anyone's got a correct score. So I think I got one first no, week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Either way, score. all right. It's Don't free, it's free one. It's free one. Right. Put it on the board. It's free a, one. I've got to make it interesting. I can't run away with it. It's just boring for the viewers. No, you can't. It's going to finish. We've got two more games left, mate. It's going to finish free free. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> right, let's get on to this week's ones then. Um, we got Liverpool Villa. I've got 2-1 Liverpool. You've got... Uh, two and Liverpool. Two one Liverpool. I'll change, I'll change it. Cause cause I'll change it. For, oh, stop uh, doing content. this nonsense. Two nil. Two nil Liverpool. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're gonna have to text me these over. And then we got Forest Arsenal. I've gone. I've gone out there. I've gone two two. Be serious. Yeah. So have I. You're a waste man. So I'm gonna change it again. Oh, come on in. Because for content. Three two Forest. Whoa. Let's go. Big man. All right. And then um, do not. If you've got these written, you need to write these down, right? Actually, I'm uh, then we've got West Ham, Leeds. I've got 2-1 Leeds. Let me guess. You've also got 2-1 Leeds. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm Absolute joke. Right, I'm going first next week. This is a joke. What's the point? We're going to have the same scores then. No. Are you going 2-1 Leeds? Any time today. I go 1-0 Leeds then. Before. All right, and then we've got City, Chelsea. I've gone 3-0 Chelsea. <coughs> no, 3-0 City, sorry. 2-0. Okay. All right, let's lock them in. Right, let us know in the comments then who your player of the week was. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and then tick on that notification bell to stay up to date with uh, future content. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Cheers.